Uh, Joe Biden's son, Hunter, who's been the target of President Trump's attacks for, for weeks. Uh, first of all, before we get to what Hunter said to ABC News today, we should note President Trump's attacks against Hunter Biden and Joe have been full of lies. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's, that's just a fact. But it also is just a fact that this kind of board appointment to the son of a sitting vice president is something that a lot of good government groups take issue with. Right. Um, so Hunter Biden did an interview with ABC News. He tried to dismiss any questions about his time on the board of a Ukrainian gas company uh, during his father's vice presidency. Take a listen. What do you say to people who believe this is exactly why people hate Washington? A vice president's son can make money in countries says where this? your father is doing official no, government by the business. Way, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. I made a mistake in, um, in, in retrospect as it related to um, creating any um, perception that, that was wrong. And so, therefore, I'm taking it off the table. And, you know. Ukrainian prosecutors have said that they know of no evidence of any criminal wrongdoing by Hunter or by Joe. But Amy Rolbach in that interview is right. This does look swampy. Uh, dare any Democrat bring this up in the debate? I don't think so. And I think what Democrats have done in the last couple of weeks has been smart, which is drawing the contrast between the kind of administration they would run in terms of ethics and what, what role their children might play, what, either inside or outside, versus with Trump. And, you know, Hunter, I thought, was fine in that interview. He was, he was himself. It was unpolished, which I think that's who he is, which I think was a good thing. You know, and his point about, you're right, it's, it may seem swampy, but can we also remember this happened years ago? So, and people at the time did express some concern. But, you know, I think there's a difference between what is happening right now in this moment with impeachment, with what we're learning every single day, and the very real questions we have about the Trump children than something that happened years ago where there's been no wrongdoing proven. Biden now has a whole talking point on his ethics plan that he can talk about. So on the subject of the Trump children, Donald Trump Jr. tweeted in response to Hunter Biden's interview, quote, dumpster fire at Biden HQ. It is impossible for me to be uh, or any of the boards I just mentioned, on uh, any of the boards I mentioned, without saying that I'm the son of the vice president of the U.S. I don't think that there's a lot of things that would have happened in my life that if, uh, that if my name wasn't Biden, Hunter Biden. So Donald Trump Jr. quoting Hunter Biden, acknowledging that things came his way because of his father. Your response? I just, God bless Donald <laughs> Trump Jr. <laughs> just, just bless his little heart. And I, I, it just because it's just it's just indescribably stupid for him to inject himself into this story when he has business deals all around, when he has uh, tra traveled and, and promoted uh, his his company, his father's company, his eponymous company. It's just it's just maddening. I, I think what 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 his father does that's very ingenious and evil is he finds where you're most vulnerable. You know, I don't need to tell you, Joe Biden has buried a daughter and a son and a, and a wife. And family is the most important thing in his life. And so he takes it, picks on a member of, of Joe's family. Joe's got to resist answering in kind. I wouldn't advise Joe to attack Donald Trump Jr. Focus on the president. Joe's greatest calling card is I'm the guy that can beat Trump. So when you hear Hunter, there's seven things you do. Attack, 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 attack. But attack Trump, not his kids.